Okay, a very common question that I get on our YouTube channel and on our various blogs is what's the difference between procurement and purchasing? We're gonna be hearing that from Trent coming right up. Okay, so what is the difference between procurement and purchasing? Is there a difference? Can we use the terms interchangeably? Today, we're talking to Trent Morris. Uh, now, Trent is a bit of an expert in procurement and purchasing. I guess you better tell us why. What makes you an expert? Where have you worked? And Sure, yeah, so I've had uh, a few different roles uh, where I've looked at both procurement and purchasing. Mm -hmm. uh, so when in operational type roles, I've been involved in purchasing. Uh, and then more recently, I've actually had a few roles what in procurement. What sort of companies? You know, so, yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. So, uh, so in an operational role, I actually worked for Beam Suntory. Most people would know of as Jim Beam, the, oh, yeah. the bourbon, which is one of the favourite jobs I've ever had. Yeah. And, uh, and more recently, I worked for Coca-Cola Amatil uh, yeah. in their procurement team, uh, looking after group logistics. Okay, so you've had a fair bit of experience in some, in some big roles there. So let's get back to the question, what is the difference between procurement and purchasing? Sure, so I think the easiest way, Rob, to explain the difference between procurement and purchasing is to consider, for example, buying a new mm -hmm. car. If you're gonna buy a new car, you actually establish what you want before you even take a step onto the street. Hmm, okay. And so you'd consider the number of seats you need in the vehicle, whether it need to be a four-wheel drive, a sedan, an SUV. And then you'd actually start looking at all of the manufacturers and hmm. what the manufacturers had to offer. Once you'd actually done that, at that point you would move into getting prices on the vehicles. Okay. The first part where you're doing the research into the industry, that's procurement. You know, that's okay. understanding how much you want to spend, the type of car you want, how many seats, the needs, etc. Okay, so it's really looking at what, what's available on the market, the different suppliers, what their different products are like, whether it matches your needs and so on. Yeah, it, but it's it, not actually buying it. No, exactly okay. right, exactly right. So you need to know what you actually want. Mm. And then once you know what you want, you can go out and find what you want for the right price. Now, not just the price, but sometimes it's the service capability of mm. the dealership you're talking to. It could be the aftermarket service or the, mm. the warranties that you're actually after. But all of those things become purchasing as compared to procurement. Okay. so. There's a question coming up here, I know. Are these always separate functions, procurement and purchasing? I, I guess in smaller businesses, they might be the same. Typically, I would suggest that purchasing is, is a subset of procurement, okay. uh, in as much as procurement guides the purchasing process. Yeah. A purchasing uh, manager or a purchasing officer typically won't buy off anything unless the contract has been set up by procurement first. Okay. Uh, so in that way, yes, procurement and purchasing are linked. Mm. Sometimes they are decentralised and as much yeah. as an operations team may look after purchasing if they're talking about widgets yeah. or something like okay. that. Uh, but if you're talking about something that's more indirect, uh, something uh, like travel, that yeah. might all be governed by a centralised body. Okay. And, and in a smaller business, if there's any sort of small business owners watching this, usually it's going to be a senior person or the director will be saying, hey, we're going to buy our widgets from this supplier. And, and negotiate the supply and the and the prices and so on, and then an admin person or someone in purchasing actually does the buying. Yeah, exactly yeah. right, Rob. So uh, the procurement typically has the authority uh, on behalf of the business to engage with suppliers to actually make deals. Yeah. The person who is executing those deals is the purchasing and typically would be a more junior resource to the business. Okay, so other terms that come up, and there may be some confusion around these, Category management, what's that? And, and what's supplier relationship management? Are they the same thing? Sure, no they're not. Uh, so if you have a look at procurement as a function of the mm. business, typically it will look after three separate parts of the mm. business. And those three parts would broadly be broken into category management. Mm. And then it is the understanding of what you're going to spend and, and how you're going to spend it. Mm. Then a category manager would hand off to a sourcing team and the sourcing yeah. team would actually go out and set up the, the, the supply in the first yeah. place. And then they would hand off to a supplier relationship management team who will make sure okay. that the supplier is performing in accordance with the so, requirements of the contract. Let me ask all the dumb questions here. So, sure. what, so what's a category? Is that indirect spend versus direct spend or is it like travel, fuel, that sort of stuff? 
Look, in my experience, typically there are three types of mm. category at a very mm. senior level. So you mm. have directs, and that is the product that actually uh, is sold to the market. So yeah. in the FMCG space, it could be the ingredients to yeah. the liquid. Just the tins, the bottles. Uh, yeah. Anything okay. that touches yeah. the product. Yeah. Indirect is, is everything else yeah. that is used to get the product to market, either mm. as a, from a supply perspective or a demand perspective. Yeah. And then finally, the third one, which is quite often separate out, would be IT and other information yeah. services because okay. that is a very complex environment within its own and requires yeah. specialist knowledge. Okay, now a question I've often been asked, and sometimes I upset people with the answer, is where should procurement report to within a business structure? That's that's a great question, Rob, <laughs> and, and, and I've, I've encountered two separate areas. Mm. Um, I, I'm doing some work with a customer at the moment who... Uh, I'm working with the operations director mm. because the vast majority of their spend is in the direct space. Yep. And he wants to govern that. He wants to understand the requirements mm. around the capital employed, etc. Yep. On the other hand, in a lot of organizations, it actually belongs to the CFO. Okay. I think the best way to think of it, it would logically straddle those two teams. Yes. So who it reports to is perhaps less important, except the fact that procurement is required to engage with all parties yep. to ensure that uh, the money is being spent well, yep. and the business is actually getting the value for money that it wants. Okay. Is, is procurement a good career? Because there might be people watching this who are thinking of getting into procurement. What, what would be a good way to get into it? I've, I, so far, I've found procurement a great mm. role to be in. Uh, mm. I've had a number of roles within supply mm. chain, and I must admit procurement is one of my favourites. Yeah. Uh, for me personally, I really enjoy the supplier relationship management yeah. side of procurement. Okay. Being able to engage with people and help them get the best out of them so yeah. that we know that we're getting value for yeah. money, yeah. I, I really enjoy that part of it. Yeah. Um, typically, a, an easy way into procurement uh, is simply to stick your hand up and say, yes, I'm interested in procurement to, mm. the, to your management team. Mm. But understand that you'll want to go in at a point that you have experience in. Yeah. So for me, my entry point into procurement was through logistics. Yeah. I had over 15 years experience in logistics when I got yeah. into procurement. Okay. And so it was a nice, easy transition for me. Yeah. I yeah. think any other way, you'd mm. want to be starting at a more junior level yeah. and coming into maybe a graduate program or yeah. something like okay. that. Okay, sounds good. So I think we've answered the question. What's the difference between procurement and purchasing? And in a nutshell, uh, your analogy of going to buy a car, procurement is kind of looking at the market, all the different brands and their features and which brand you might want to buy. And then purchasing is actually going out and negotiating the deal and buying the product. Absolutely. Perfect. Thanks for that, Trent. So there we go. Another topic. Uh, and you should realize by now that we have new videos coming out on a Wednesday. So if you're not subscribed, do hit the subscribe button down below. If you hit that bell, apparently you get an email every time we post a new video. Uh, and do comment below if you've uh, got any questions. I'll make sure that Trent or I answer those. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.